If you're trying to become a software developer and you're teaching yourself to do this, you're gonna go through a lot of coding tutorials, of videos where someone's gonna walk you through different parts of maybe a programming language, maybe different syntax features, maybe some of the fundamentals of programming, maybe how to build some projects. This is a really important part of the process because having somebody walk you through all this is a great way to learn. However, what I've noticed from interacting and talking to a lot of people who are trying to do this is that while coding tutorials are great, they can also have a huge downside to them. And if you're not aware of this, it's gonna cause you a lot of problems. It's gonna cause you a lot of pain in your journey to become a software developer. So I'm gonna cover what that issue is and how to overcome that. By the way, I'm Andy Sterkwitz. I'm a self-taught software developer. I actually taught myself to code back in 2014. I landed my first job in 2015 and I dedicated this channel to help people to do the same. So I actually mentor and coach people who are trying to get in the field and I wanna share as much information as I can to help people do the same things. So I definitely recommend hitting the subscribe button below. Also make sure to hit the bell icon so you get notifications anytime I put out a new video. So look, the big problem that I see so many people have when they start to learn to code and they start using coding tutorials is that they don't really have a good understanding of the difference between knowledge and concepts versus a skill set, right? So actually developing the skills of a programmer. This would be very similar to if you wanted to be, let's say a golfer, and golf is a very technical sport. It's a not an easy sport at all. I've played it a few times. I'm not very good at it, by the way. But if you wanted to have a really good golf swing, which is again, very difficult, you could watch all the videos in the world. You could watch all the free videos on YouTube. You could even probably pay someone or you know pay for a course that's gonna teach you the intricacies of how to swing a golf club, from how to hold it, to what's the best equipment, to how to swing. And there could be, you could find the best information in the world. But if you just know how to swing a golf club, like you have all the information in your head, is dramatically different from actually having the skill of how to actually go out there and swing the golf club the correct way so the ball lands in the hole, right? So it lands in the green or whatever the goal is. The difference between those two is huge. In other words, you don't want to just know about golf. You don't want to know how to swing a golf club. You want to actually be able to have the capability to actually swing the golf club and you know shoot the, the ball really far or whatever it is, right? Those are two completely different things. And they need to work together, right? So in other words, to become a really good golfer or to have a really good golf swing, there has to be concepts that you know about how to hold it, how to actually swing it. The reason I'm using this as a metaphor is because with programming, a lot of people believe that if they buy a coding tutorial on JavaScript, that if they follow it through, that they'll have everything that they need to know to be a JavaScript developer, or even just to start developing their own applications. When the truth is that what they're gonna be teaching you in many of these tutorials is number one, the basics of a programming language or some of the basics of programming, right? So the basic rules of how things work but ultimately it's up to you to use those things to create applications or you know to go through coding challenges or whiteboarding problems to actually use what you know and if you just watch coding tutorials no matter how many notes you take no matter how closely you pay attention or even how many times you rewatch it there's ultimately no substitute for going out on your own and just doing this over and over again where you're building projects you're running into issues you're debugging that's what really happens as a programmer so if you're doing coding tutorials and you, again, let's say you're taking notes, you've bought multiple tutorials, you're going through them, you're spending hours of your time at it. The thing that's often missing from your regimen here is that you're not applying the knowledge in some meaningful way. If you've watched my channel before, you know that I talk a lot about building projects and I say, just start small, like start with simple projects, easy things to do and build them up as you go, as you learn more and you can learn about some of the more complicated projects that you can possibly do. But if you don't do that, if you just watch your tutorials, you don't really use that information, then what's gonna happen is you'll watch these tutorials, you'll probably feel really good about it because you'll be like, oh my gosh, I'm learning all this new stuff. But when it comes down to actually using it in a real live setting, so say you go to an interview and they want you to do a whiteboarding challenge or they want you to pair program with them, it'll be very apparent that you haven't done the work to actually use those skills. There's no substitute for it. So while coding tutorials are awesome, and I love coding tutorials, and I think that you'll get so much out of them by using them, just know that to become a software developer is not about having a bunch of knowledge in your head. It's not necessarily that, like having more knowledge is helpful. 
However, what's going to get you a job is you have to have the skill set, right? So you have to actually be able to build things, to create things, to solve a user's problem. And there's absolutely no substitute for that. So while it can kind of seem daunting, right? Like, where do I start? I always say start small, start with something easy, start with uh, programming challenges. There's a really good site called edibit.com that you can use. Uh, I really recommend this more for beginners. Later on, you could use things like Leak Code and Hacker Rank, but also be developing your own portfolio projects on the side and that's really the key thing here. So look, I, that pretty much crystallizes what I think is the main issue with coding tutorials. It's not about that there's not high quality tutorials out there. I actually think there's a lot of amazing instructors and a lot of great tutorials out there that are free and very low cost. So it's really about just taking the information and making sure you're applying it. And ultimately, I think that's what's gonna help you move forward. So if you enjoyed this video, as always guys, please leave a like as the YouTube algorithm loves that and it would really help me out. Also leave a comment. Let me know if you're experiencing any issues with coding tutorials and of course, if this actually helped to get you to that next level where you're getting through some of the issues that you're having. Now also, I wanna make you aware if you are trying to become a software developer right now, if you've been teaching yourself this for a while and you are 100% dedicated to doing this and you're looking to work with me one-on-one -on -one in my mentorship program to make this a reality, what I would recommend you do if you're interested in joining is to book a free career strategy session with me. On that call, what I'm gonna do with you is we're gonna go through a bunch of questions. I'm gonna ask you about what your goals are, what you're specifically looking to do, as well as some of the issues that you're having. And if I think the mentorship program is a good fit, we can talk about what your program specifically would look like and I can lay that out for you. So I would definitely jump on that opportunity by going to the link in the description below to book that call. Make sure to take advantage of it, by the way, as soon as you can, because I know time slots tend to go quickly every single week. Other than that, guys, thank you as always for watching, and uh, that's really all I have, so peace out.